Welcome back to Creating Coins, where we talk about money and mindset for entrepreneurs. Today we're talking about how to network as an introvert. I typically avoid events. Uh, believe it or not, I'm an introvert. Now, I do wanna just quickly, before we get into introvert, extrovert, quickly define it, okay? An introvert is someone who gains energy with alone time. Essentially, we're inside of our heads a lot and we love to think and ponder and um, we can be outgoing. There's nothing that says that, we, that we're necessarily shy, uh, but we just gain energy from alone time and thinking. An extrovert is someone who gains energy by being with other people and around other people. And instead of thinking your thoughts before you get them out, you usually speak your thoughts in order to um, kind of ruminate on things and kind of get through things, okay? So that's the, a slight difference. There are shy extroverts and as well as outgoing introverts, okay? So it doesn't have anything to do with being shy or being outgoing. I was shy for a lot of my life um, and then I became really, really outgoing. Um, I enjoy, you know, making new friends and all of that, right? Had no problem walking up to people at a party, introducing myself, nothing, okay? But after those interactions, I usually need to recharge. So if you think about that, that's essentially the difference. So with that being said, as a business owner, you have have to put yourself out there. You have to get out there. You have to go get your own clients. Uh, there's nobody that's just cutting you a check just for sitting at your desk and not talking to anyone, okay? So I wanna share with you what I've done as an introvert and what you can do as well in order to gain more clients even if you're an introvert. First thing is don't avoid events, okay? Um, you can still go to networking events. You can still attend you know, certain events and conferences and things like that. You're gonna have an absolutely fine time, okay? But this is what I do in order to prevent myself from really getting drained from those types of events. The first thing that I do is I go with a goal in mind. So typically my goal is to um, say hi and introduce myself and exchange a business card with at least one person. I know that usually once I do that, then the rest of the interactions become easier. Sometimes that person will introduce me to another person and um, it's not as stressful once I get that first one down. And if I'm just really not feeling the event and you know I really just want to avoid it and I didn't want to go in the first place, then checking that box for me makes me feel good enough to say, okay, you can go home now. Like you don't have to um, drain yourself anymore. Okay, so that's the first thing that I do. And then I have a strategy for turning those business cards into new clients. And I'm gonna share that with you in just a second. The second thing that I do is I make connections before I go. So I would recommend this to you, especially if you're going to a conference or somewhere where there's going to be lots and lots of people, maybe hundreds or thousands of people. Find a couple of people that you can connect with beforehand, where you can have a conversation. Because as introverts, we really crave meaningful connections, right? We don't wanna just have small talk and chat with someone and talk about the weather. We wanna actually talk about what's going on um, in your life, in your business, because we usually remember that. And we're usually thinking about who can we connect you with? How can we help you? How can we help you get towards your goals? Um, that's just why, well, number one, it's awesome to have introvert friends, um, but that's just kind of who we are and what we do. So make it a point to connect with a few people beforehand. That will make it so much easier once you do get to the conference or the event because you can go ahead and, and chat with those people. You can connect with them at the event and then they can take the time to introduce you to other people or you can just have those conversations with them at the event. And it's totally okay to just hang out with one or two people during the entire event. Okay, like I said, we crave deeper connection. So if that means you spending you know, lunch with that person and then maybe meeting one or two other people, absolutely fine, okay? Don't feel bad about that. But this is what you need to do as a business owner. Once you make the connections with those few people, make sure you're talking about your business and interacting with them and telling them about the type of clients that you're looking for. This is why it's important to have your very own unique selling proposition, all right? And you need to have your one-liner is what I call it. Um, your one statement where you can say, I help introverted entrepreneurs gain more clients online. And once you have that one liner, you can continually chat with people, you can talk to those connections you've already made, and you can make sure that you're getting that statement out so that when that person thinks, oh, I know an introverted entrepreneur, I know someone who's looking to gain clients online, they automatically think of you. And finally, this is my introvert-friendly client gaining process. 
at an event, after I get business cards and I've had a chance to chat with someone and understand what it is that they need, and I know that my services can work for them, I essentially put them into the front end of my funnel and I let my work speak for itself. I'm constantly creating content. I create videos, I create live streams, I create blog posts. And what I do is I send a quick email and I'll actually leave a link for that template if you'd like. I send a quick email which says something like, hey, it was so great to meet you at so-and-so event. If you'd like, I've got this item for you. And usually it's a free guide or a free report, something that goes along with what we were chatting about. The next thing that happens is they go to get the free guide, the free report, they opt into my email list and the email list in my funnel does the remaining work for me. So if you don't already have a funnel, that's definitely something that you need to have in place. But just to start, Remember that it's important for you to give that value. And so when you're first meeting people, your goal, especially if you're an introvert, is to just make that initial connection so that you can continue to give value and gain more clients. Thank you so much for watching for this episode of Creating Coins. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to leave a comment below and let me know um, how do you network even if you're an introvert or do you feel like you are more on the introverted or extroverted scale? Uh, sometimes people feel like they're somewhere in the middle so I'd love to hear from you. Just comment below and we can get the conversation started. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.